Hi, Emmanuel here with T2S Transform to Succeed. Today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue with the series on how to set file permissions on a Linux system. So far, we have talked uh, about the set UID. And when you think about set UID, think about user. That's the user ID. And what you basically do when you use set UID, you are giving privileges of uh, group members, owners and owners of directories or files to non-users or non-owners or, or non-group members so that they can share the same permissions with the owners as well as the group members. That's basically what you do with set UID. But with set GID, what we're talking about today, it's a, it's a little bit different. So here, instead of focusing on the user category, you're going to focus on the group category. So we're going to focus on the second set of user categories when you look at the permissions on 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 any anything i'm gonna take you to the command line here so that you make better sense of what i'm talking about here go to activities select terminal and you get here so let's say here we have uh let's say we have file here we have file one. So what I do, I ls, I'm going to long list. So I do that. So what you see here, these are the, these are the properties here. These are the properties of a file. And then here, yeah, this is uh, the access control list. And we're not going to, we'll not be talking about this uh, today. But at least you see here we have a dash here because it's a file if it's a link it's going to be an l if it's a directory it's going to be a d then you have the first set of permissions here belonging to the user and then the next set of three permissions belong to uh, belongs to the groups and here you have uh, you have the the other uh, meaning the public or uh, category but we'll be focusing on this uh, set here on this set uh, of uh, user categories so I'm gonna clear the screen what you do with set UID the way you do it is that you create a group and then you modify permission permissions of uh, that you want to assign to the specific group next you add users to the group and then these non group users will will have access to uh, to these uh, these these files directories of files and that's what I'm going to show you here quickly the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have you have already users so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the user command and because remember here we have this meaning that this is a normal user you cannot add users as a normal user you need to be root to do that we can either use the sudo command or we can do the switch user to command to become root. In this case, I'm going to do sudo. And user command is the command that we use here. And I'm going to create user A. And then I press. That's been created. Uh, actually, the yeah, that's been created. And we'll verify that in a moment. And then I do the same to add the second user, user B. To verify, you can either 
you 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 have to go to the et password this is the file where every time you create a new user the information information about this new account is added to that file and one way to verify could be you you could use the grab command which is one way or you can since we're looking at two users here or you can use the head command and i'm gonna do dash three and then the file and this this is the file that we're talking about this is where all the info information about every user account goes it resides in here so i press enter and here surprisingly i don't see anything and the reason is that i use head instead of tail so i'm gonna do tail because head by default it's gonna it's gonna display the first 10 lines of uh, of a file tail will display the by default the last 10 lines okay and in our case i'm gonna do three and you're gonna see uh what i'm talking here and that will make more sense so that's that's the difference between the head and the tail commands so the tail command because this is the the, the, the very last the, 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 the lines that were added last to this file that's what we're looking at here and you see user a and user b they have been created so that's done now the next thing that you have to do is to if you don't have an existing group then you you have to create the group and to create the group you use this command group add and then the name of the group would be like this one here then enter the group has been created and I can verify by using the grab command the grab command allows you to display lines or you know information or data using a pattern and uh, like CGRP and everything about group groups that you create is stored on this file so you see here this group has been created but the thing is we did not assign any id and then the system just assigned an id here and the group id so next what we need to do is to add to add our users to this specific group so i'm gonna do sudo user mode which is the mode uh, user mode command to modify to mod modify this group by adding user a first and that's done and to recall the last command or the previous command i use the upper arrow on my keyboard like that then i change that to user b and that's done and to verify i use the same command grep that and you're gonna see that the groups the the users have been assigned to this group next what we need to do is to create a file or directory if we don't we didn't have any and then we we're gonna change uh, the owner of this directory like uh, it, in this case student will create this directory but we're gonna become root to do that so i'm gonna become root here and you see the change this is no longer a, no, a normal user it's now the root user i'm gonna clear the screen so i'm gonna create a directory and i'll call it 10 i think this one already exists so i'm gonna remove that directory uh, i'm 
going to add the, this uh, option here. And that's, uh, uh, yeah, that should say yes here to remove it. So now I'm going to create it again. So there, 10, that's been created. And if you look at the properties of this directory, see here, this is the owner. And this is the group. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna change the that uh, who I mean that the group that owns the directory. And to do that, you use this command here: chew on uh, root. Then we're gonna apply the new use the new name grp here, and then the name of the directory. So that's been changed. And it, it, if you wanna verify, you see. The owner is still root, but the group has changed from root to uh, the new group that we just created. And and then next, what you do, you're going to have to add now permissions to that directory. So you you add this permission and then you're going to also add some more uh, like write. And also remove write and execute permissions from the the other. Then you apply that to this directory here. And if you verify again here, so this is what what we have here, and we know that it's a directory, and we are focusing on the group here. The group has this uh, ability. They they can read, they can write, and they 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 can also share. You know the as here, so they can share. Meaning that anybody, anybody in this group, anybody in this group should have the ability to share. Uh, proper uh, files and directories together so if you switch to become you switch users to become user a user b whatever you do you do as that user user b as, as user a user b should be able to access also that file because they can they can share they can collaborate and that's uh that's pretty much what it is about how you should set GID, uh, group ID uh, and change uh, file permissions on a Linux uh, system. And again, my name is Emmanuel and thank you so much for watching this video. God bless you and I'll see you in the next video.